This is not a discovery that you want to find in your tomatoes. But thankfully, it was discovered on small tomatoes. This uh, drew my attention immediately when I noticed these spots on this cluster here on these two tomatoes and upon closer inspection I found missing growth tip off of this and leaves stripped off of this which immediately made me wonder what was going on but I suspected the worst and found exactly what I had suspected. Uh, coming up this plant a little further. Coming over here, finding more stripped leaves off of this. Then I, uh, Moved over here a little further to discover this fat little creature feasting on another tomato, taking food out of my mouth. So I'm going to grab me a coffee can. because I hate touching them. They kind of freak me out, honestly. But I'm going to grab a coffee can, throw this bugger in there, and show you what the best solution is to get rid of these. So I found a bucket close by rather than going to get a coffee can and we'll throw this this guy in this bucket here dispose of them properly. So they are kind of cool looking. I did enjoy observing them as kids, but now that I enjoy eating tomatoes so much more, as I show you how we dispose of these properly. This right here, folks, is the best way to dispose of them. You take your tomato hornworm like this and slowly turn the bucket over. Drop it out onto the ground like this. Step back and observe. Watch it. Wait for the suspenseful moment. Got a little glimpse there.
Here we go. Roosters taking a very cautious approach. Because the dogs are around here. Boys, go. Go away. There we go. No? There we go. Come on, Mr. Rooster. Oh, you're gonna kick it, threaten it. There we go. There we go. And the fight begins. Get it, girls. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. One drops and another picks it up. Don't let it get away, girls. Oh no. It's over there on the edge of the fence. Uh oh. Better not get away, girls. Don't let it get away. I think they might have let it go away. No. It's still there. They can see it through the fence there. Right below that blue one right there. On the bottom rail. Get it, girls. Get it, get it. There we go. Yeah, yeah. One hen's got her head point, pointing right at it. Come on, girls. Get in there and get that thing. Get it out of there. I thought for sure this rooster was going to get it. Then he just kicked it. I'm going to get it. She's going to get it. Get in there. Boys, back off. The action's picked up again. There we go. Oh, this blue's got it over here. She's got it. You better swallow it. Don't lose it over there beyond the fence. Here we go. Come on, young lady. Go bit down. Boy, the other strike at that worm. When she runs by. <laughs> the 
this is what I expected from the beginning. Didn't expect the show to take so long to get started. Gulp it down. I don't know where the majority of it went because now it's pulled in pieces. This one here's got the majority of it, I guess. Look at that tug of war. No, light brown has got it. Looks like she's got it down. Oh, no. This blue one over here got it. Or another piece of it, I should say. That light brown one got a good portion of it down. And it looks like that blue one right there got most of the rest of it. Good. Drama's over. Good girls. Mr. Rooster here disappointed me. Thought he was going to get it for sure. But I did like the uh, deadly strike. Or less than deadly, I should say. Good job, Mr. Rooster. Fighting off the threat. Yeah, pop out. There you go. Good boy. You did your job. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen.